What's up guys? Today I got a little state of DK gameplay for you. Well not really gameplay, but more a tutorial than a gameplay. Uh I know a lot of people who got this for the PC are complaining that there's no control uh, no support for a keyboard and a mouse. When actually there is. Now I know in Steam when you buy the game, for those of you who actually pay attention, you would have known this ahead of time. The uh developer actually put a message out that says the initial early access version of the game requires a wired Xbox 360 controller or wireless 360 controller with a PC adapter or a compatible third party controller. Now I know it says this but that's not entirely true guys. You can actually use your keyboard and mouse just to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little gameplay. I'm going to tell you how to do everything and where it's mapped to on your keyboard. Now you need to understand that everything doesn't work perfect, but it works. It's playable with the mouse and keyboard. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is your movement is mapped to your W, A, S, and D. Like pretty much any standard game on the PC now, so I'll take you around, see there's forward, W, back is S, left is A, and right is D. You can use your mouse to look around, take in the sights, the sounds. It's a pretty good looking game. Not too bad, but uh, it's nice. I'm sure once this game's fully out, this should improve a little bit. So that'll cover your movement. You can bring up your menu by pressing the escape button. And then you use your the W and the S to cycle through when you want to exit the menu. Just hit escape again, and you're right back in the game, good to go. If you hit the tab button, it brings up this lovely character sheet where you can see everything you need to know that's going on in the game. Left hand side will tell you how to use a controller. Obviously that's not going to work. You can use the A and the D to scroll through the available items on here, as you can see. I can scroll through everything, no problem. When you want to exit this, you just hit the escape button twice and it brings it back up. Now while you're on this menu, when you sort, sort through the pages, if you look at the top of the screen, you see there's a person, a star, and a book. If you hit the tab button, it'll take you to the next page. And from there, you can, you can use your movement keys to scroll through. Alright, after that, we're going to move ahead in the game just a little bit. Uh, while you're running, if you want to sprint, you hold down the left shift button. That is your sprint. Hold up. If you want to crouch, hit your left control key. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. If you hold the control key down, you can crouch and move very quietly. This will help you stealth by the uh, the zombies. As you can see, they're not. They can't see me right now. And then when you want to get out of crouch mode, you just hit the left control again. Pops you right back up. Alright, so we're going to avoid these zombies. We're going to go over here where there's some doors. We'll show you how to open up these doors. Uh, keep in mind that these are really just the basic controls. There's a couple of things that don't work or a couple of things that are configured uh, in such a way that they're just not going to work. So here we are. We're up to the first door. You're going to walk up to the door and to open it, you're going to hit the E button. Then, when you want to repeatedly open the door, you're going to push your left mouse button. And that will allow you to uh, push your shoulder into the door. Alright, you can see here we've killed the zombies and we have the shelf up here that's glowing. That actually has uh, items that we can use. Let me just go close this so I don't get back to work by these zombies. Alright, you're going to walk up to the item over here that's glowing and to search it normally you're gonna hold your E button All right. if you're in a rush if you hold your shift button and the E button you will rapidly search it, it'll make a lot of noise and attract zombies 
but that's how you do that. And then I believe the con left control in the E make you search quietly. It does. Oh, it doesn't. We'll get out of there. Alright, and then here's... Oh my god. Do you hear the zombies in the background? Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Shit. Let me take care of my business. Oh my god, how many zombies are there? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. other things in here to search and see. No, I think, oh, yeah, here we go. Alright, see this cabinet here? Let me close this door, get out of the way. There we go. Alright. Once again, hold down the E button to search normally. Alright, once it's open, you're going to highlight the item that you want, and you're going to hit the space bar, and that is how you collect any item that is in a container or on a body. You can see we went right into my inventory. We're here. We're good to go. Just going to exit out of that real quick. You find yourself in a dark place. You can toggle your flashlight or your torch by hitting the T button, and it illuminates pretty well. And then you just use your mouse to aim. There we go, we're good, right? What is the deal with these zombies? Damn it. Alright, while the zombies are on the ground, you can actually execute them. You hold the shift, and you hit the E button, and it does this little, uh, nice little fatality kill here. That's any time that your opponent is on the ground. I'm gonna walk over here, we'll do a little bit of search and see what we got. Oh god, there's a zombie some there he is. Alright, now if you want look, okay, he's got him held. Walk up to him, hold the shift. Oh. Alright. Looks like once he has him held, it only takes one swing and it decapitates him. Um, Let's see what else is there. You can, if you're sprinting and you want to tumble, you hold shift while you're running. You hit the control button. And he does this nice little roll. And last but not least, the space bar is your jump button. So guys, you can see, you can clearly play the game with your, uh, with your keyboard and mouse. It'll take a little bit getting used to. Uh, oh, one final thing, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to assume that there are handguns in the game. I haven't gotten that far yet. But aim down the sight is your right mouse button. Like any standard shooter. And there's a system where you can use emotes. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your left mouse button. Now when you do this your first time, it's going to auto attack. And then you're going to use your Q. So there you go, there's your, that, that one there is your space bar. Good stuff. You can use your E. Nah. The left control. And then I just have to find... Good stuff. The taunt, which is the X, because your the X is actually mapped to the left mouse button, which you're already holding down. So that is the only thing that I can't find that to work. But other than that, keyboard and mouse it up. Oh! And that's it, guys. I hope you guys found this helpful. And I'm sure once the game's done and live and it's not early access, there will definitely be keyboard and mouse support. But for now, I'm hoping this will get you through the problems that you guys are having. You guys, uh, feel free to leave any comments. 
and I will uh, I'll try to get some more footage up for you later in the game with driving and uh, whatever other I come across for controls. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care.